Good morning and welcome back to the show. So this is why Tiffany So Talented, the show that I do to show you exactly what it is that I'm doing when I'm not making your shea butter soaps, your hot cocoa bombs, or cooking for Tiff's taste. But this show is about the dress. And this is the new dress. So I'm here in the fabric room because I was thinking about adding some lace. But I changed my mind. I think I'm just going to do a very... Look, I say simple, but simple ombre. Let's get into it. I'm so glad you're here with me. So I want to show you how I just jumped right into this dress. I started my framing with these beautiful black baguettes in two different sizes. The smaller lines, I used the smaller baguettes and the lines that were just a little bit wider, I went ahead and used the bigger baguettes and I got everything all glued down. And sometimes when you're gluing down like this, you get little glue pop-ups. So just go ahead and grab a pin and pick out the little glue pieces. So pro tip alert, make sure to always clean up your stones. Even sometimes I get wax on top of the stones. Go ahead and clean up your stones. We we'll find a piece of velvet, rub it down, and then go in with your pins and pick out all the extra glue just to keep it looking clean. So this dress does have a dilemma. Let me show you. I put all of these gorgeous baguettes on it and I'm not sure of the safety. So I just went in and hand sewed. You see the thread in between the links of the bigger ones. Just the bigger ones. The smaller ones are secure, but these bigger ones, I just went through and hand sewed them all down just to make sure that they don't fall off ever. <laughs> I still gotta do this whole side. Um, I was gonna put it in a separate dilemma video, but I don't feel like doing all that, so it's a quick fix. Okay, so, oh my God, it literally took me two and a half hours to stone all of, not to stone, but to sew down all of these beautiful large baguettes just the center ones, and then the ones up here, right there, and these ones that go around all the way to the back and the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna get into this ombre. So it's gonna get ombre like this, from jet into a hematite, to a silver so this is the hematite well here's the jet which is black the hematite is like a gunmetal gray into this labrador which is the silver and i got some black diamond for an accent all right so and some other specialties in black diamond for a further accent I use some of these on the back straps. That's this here. See how I use the hematite side there, and then I use the black diamond side there. It's the same stone, just flipped over. I love it. It's a cute little accent. All right, let me get to stoning. But I did pause for the cause because I am hungry. So I made me a char of oatmeal with some nuts and cranberries and it's the brown sugar flavor support my other channel tiff's taste and just some coffee but 
I'm hungry. Okay, so for this first panel here on this bust, I'm going to start with a jet ombre, just really close to this line, and then fade down this way in color to the silver. And then on this one here, I'm gonna kind of arch the jet this way and bring the silver and the other colors down this way. So we're gonna start with our jet and go down to the next. Here is my ombre. Did you see how I lightly faded into the smaller stones down the bus? That is how you achieve a successful ombre. And same with this one, how it's really heavy toward the line and then it's just lightly faded down. Jet is really a harsh color to successfully ombre and I wanted it to come straight off of this baguette line and fade down. So let's go in with the next color, which is this hematite. It's a gunmetal gray, and we'll see how that ombre pans out. Hematite is done. I love it. Do you see the flawless transition? can't even tell where the hematite begins and where the hematite ends and oh my gosh I just saw that I missed a stone now the word right there oh, perfect now you see how it's fading this way as well can't really see the transition from jet to hematite and that is what it's supposed to look like if you guys would actually like a master class on creating the perfect ombre please let me know and I will add that to my course that's available I mean eventually it'll just be there but if there's a demand I'll do it fast. now let's get into this Labrador color that's the silver, which also is a very harsh transition from color to color unless you're going from um, Labrador into like a crystal. But since I'm going up into the hematite, I will be fading my Labrador in this entire space, but all the way back up. All the way back up. Maybe I'll bring it to about here, to where the hematite begins heavy in this area. I'll bring the Labrador all the way up, just so it's a seamless transition. Of course, with the smaller stones going all the way to at least this line here. All right, so let's do that. All right, so this is how the Labrador is faded into the hematite faded into the black and it looks so pretty let's step back so we can see it from afar oh that looks so nice effortless ombre gorgeous 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 all right so let's get the okay for that and then we'll go on to the rest of the panels all right, so this is the step-by-step -step part of the ombre. So you see I have my size 40s down in place and I have my glue dots for my size 30 stones. So next we're gonna go into placing the size 30s and then we'll transition into the size 20s. But this is the placement to create my ombre. The 30s are down in their perfect place. The 20s are laid down for the glue spots. And now I'm gonna go in and place my 20s. Might add a little bit more because it's looking a little sparse in this panel. So I might add a few more glue dots to that one. But let's place these 20s and then we'll transition into the size 16s. 20s are down. Now I've laid my stones for the 20s in its perfect placement. And I've added my glue dots for the size 16s. So let's go into that. 
16s are in. Now I've got my dots laid down for the size 12s just in this one panel because smaller dots tend to dry faster. So we're gonna go panel by panel on the 12s, but I will only come back once all the 12s for this whole side is done. Size 12s placed and done. So that is how my jet ombre is going to go to match up with these two other panels. So the jet for this half of the dress is done. I'll do this panel on the back as the back panel and same with the other side. But I think my ombre is looking good right now. Slowly fading into this nude mesh and leaving tons of room for me to add the next color which is this gunmetal hematite. Nope, that's jet hematite. So let's put the 40s down, the 40s and the 30s down for those, and then work our way down the size spectrum. So here's our 40s, 30s, 20s, 16, 12. Oh my God, I cannot believe that I actually finished this gown in two days, literally two days. So the first day I did all of the placement for the beautiful baguettes. I know from this distance, you can't really tell that it's riddled with baguettes on all of those black lines just for extra oomph and stonage, but there's baguettes all over that. The second day, which is today, I just sold all the baguettes down and I completed this ombre. I can't believe this ombre went so fast, but it did. Um, if you would like a masterclass on ombre added to my courses, feel free to email me at tiffanysotalented at gmail.com. Uh, if you ever need any questions, any help, feel free to leave a comment in the chat of any premiere. I'm always in the chat for my premieres. I got a couple new videos dropping this week, next week, and <laughs> in the future, I'm so backlogged on editing. So videos are just going to jump at you. You're definitely going to catch a video every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe a new dress alert on Mondays. Until I get a schedule, I would like to drop my small project alerts every Wednesday. I know I stated that in one video, but it's been just dropping sporadically with whatever dress that I'm currently working on. So I gotta get that together, but when I do, you have even more content. <laughs> But this dress is so gorgeous. I'm so glad that I'm done and I can move on to the next dress, which is the completion of this small project alert that I'm working on. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Hold on. Wait, I forgot to tell you that while this dress is done, they were doing a photo shoot for this dress. Isn't it gorgeous? Let me let you get into it real quick. So this is the back. So a customer came in today, then tried it on, and she absolutely loved it, but it just wasn't her vibe. It looked it amazing on her body, but it just wasn't her vibe. So she didn't take it. So it is still available. It is um a rack dress in a size one and a half two so if you can squeeze your tiny little butt into this dress you can see julia at one of the comps and try it on if it's still available you can get it thanks for watching oh my god 
how did I forget that this dress had furry gloves? Oh, I can't wait to do these gloves. So we're going to make this a small project alert. So small project alert, small project alert. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I actually forgot that it comes with sleeves. So I'm done with the dress. It's looking gorgeous. I already shot my final scenes as you already saw. And look, they brought me some sleeves. So let's stone these things out. Um, I guess this video does get a small project. So small project alert, small project alert. We're doing some sleeves. You ready? Oh my God, isn't it gorgeous? I absolutely love this dress. This ombre came out absolutely flawless. I love the way these baguettes just give you that extra shine. See it? Do you see it? I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me ombre this dress. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments. Or if you feel like you need any additional help with coaching, feel free to email me at TiffanySoTalented at gmail.com. And we can set something up. Thank you again for watching. <laughs> See you in the next one.